Oakland business owners frustrated over what they say is an illegal homeless encampment being used as a chop shop. The thieves are reportedly abandoning the stripped out cars in the middle of the street blocking traffic. New at 6, KPIX 5's Da Lin on the growing calls for the city to step in. Oakland police instructed a tow truck company to remove nine cars on this one block. They just finished it a few hours ago, allowing traffic to once again get through. A public works supervisor tells me they'll clear all the remaining trash, hopefully by next week. This was what it looked like Friday morning, driving on Alameda Avenue near High Street. Drivers maneuvering around abandoned cars to get to roughly two dozen businesses in the area. Just a mess. It's a mess. The westbound lane was passable, but the eastbound lane was completely blocked by a handful of cars, most of them without wheels. These are cars that are literally sitting in the middle of the street. They're blocking the ability for cars to pass. Businesses say these cars have been here for at least four days, making it difficult for customers to get in and out. It's a safety hazard. It's negligence. There's no accountability from the city, and we need somebody to be accountable. Jennifer Yu and her husband, Kevin Kim, own High Street Car wash next to Alameda Avenue after their repeated calls. <laughs> Oakland police and a tow truck company came out Friday and towed the cars that were blocking traffic. But an officer says these cars will stay at least for now since they're not blocking traffic and the department doesn't have enough resources. It's extremely infuriating. An officer tells me car thieves use this illegal homeless encampment as a chop shop. Once they're done stripping the cars, they'll drag them out to Alameda Avenue to make room for more stolen cars in the encampment. Businesses say the city isn't doing enough to stop the crime and quality of life issues connected to the encampment and homeless people living up and down Alameda Avenue. They found an individual or two people with almost, almost two dozen guns inside their vehicle. Um, and so for us, we're scared. You know, we're scared to come out here and, and go to work. Councilman Noel Gallo says help is on the way. We'll be installing cameras on hot spots, not only to catch the illegal dumping, but also deal with abandoned cars. The city removed this illegal encampment multiple times in recent years, but people kept coming back. Councilman Guile says he'll meet with some nearby business owners next week to come up with a long-term plan. In Oakland, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.